Alrighty guys, I can't believe we're here to do my September book haul. I know, I know, I did two massive book thrifting trips. So if you missed those two, I will link them down below. We are not going to go back over those books and I still have a lot of books to talk about. I do want to preface this by saying I did do another book thrifting trip that I did not video because sometimes it's nice to just get out and about without cameras and everything else. But I totally love, love, love putting those videos together for you guys because I know there are so many of you who really enjoy them. But I did go once without filming and have a massive stack here. And then I also have a stack of newer books that either I bought for myself or my husband Dave picked up for me when he was out. So let's get to it and let's talk about the books I added to my bookshelf this month. Welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here my name is Laura. If you don't already know, if you couldn't tell, I am obsessed with buying books, specifically book thrifting, but I also do buy new books here and there. Just a book buying habit that needs to come to an end sometime soon. But anyway, that's a different talk for a different day. Let's go through what I ended up getting. I'm going to save the book thrifting haul for last and we are going to go through the books I ended up grabbing for myself first. So there are two books I ended up purchasing for myself. I am going to purchase one more and we will get to that but the first one I have here is The Christmas Catch by Tony Shiloh. This is her holiday novella and I'm really excited to try something by Tony Shiloh. So many people have so many good things to say about her writing so I figured this would be the best place to start. I love... I don't want to say I love novellas because I do love them, but they're so short, but it's also a good taste of the author's writing. So I'm curious to see how I get along with this one. And then the other one that I purchased, I purchased this one because I know Amy over at Books with Amy and Marie talks about this series often, and I'm excited to jump into it and see what I think about this one. It is a cozy mystery. This one is This Pen for Hire by Laura Levine, and it is part of a Jane Austen mystery series. I know in, I think it was the most recent thrifting vlog, I picked up the Halloween book in this series, and I think it's like book 11 or something, so I wanted to start off with book number one. You guys know how I am. I always love reading series in order, and I just feel kind of weird reading them out of order, even if you can, so had to pick up book one. Those are the two books I ended up purchasing for myself. I do also want to get a nonfiction book which I am currently listening to on audio but I want to get it to annotate it and you know just go through it more thoroughly and that is The Call of the Wild and the Free and I am just really excited to get my hands on a physical copy because my friend Ashley, who homeschools her children, she also runs a homeschooling group, she asked me if I wanted to read it along with her group and I said absolutely and I am really really adoring this book and again just can't wait to get my hands on a physical copy. So there is that one. And then the three that my husband Dave picked up for me. This one, actually these two he picked up on his own. He asked me if I wanted anything from the store and I told him just to go in and pick up two cozy mysteries because I've been really in a cozy mystery mood lately. So these are the two he picked up. They're part of the same series. It's a Beacon Bake Shop Mystery Series by Darcy Hanna. The first one is Murder at the Beacon Bake Shop. So there is book one there. And then book two is Murder at the Christmas Cookie Bake Off. So there is that one. Again, I just love cozy mystery covers. I asked him why he picked these two out of all of the ones. Because you guys know, if you go into Barnes, there are so many cozy mysteries that you can pick from. And he said because he liked the covers, number one. And then number two, the second book was holiday themed. And he knows I love holiday reads. So those two. And then this one I actually asked him to pick up because he was out. And I knew this book came out and I really wanted to read it because I really, really loved the first book in the series. I know some people really, really don't like the first book in the series, but I was one of those people that absolutely adored it. So I picked up Apprentice to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer. So there is that one. Again, he picked it up, but I asked him to pick it up. So I just kind of threw it in with what he picked up for me. So there is that one. Now we are getting into our thrift book haul. And I got a lot of books. This was one day of book thrifting. And I have to be honest, I don't always get lucky when I go to thrift stores, but the past three times, the past two you guys have seen because I've recorded, but then this time as well, I've gotten so, so lucky guys. And I just want to reiterate that it is not always like this. I do not always come home with books like this. 
just for some odd reason it's just been great going book thrifting and coming home with a ton of books there are times where I come home with nothing time and time again and that's just book thrifting and the nature of it but anyway let's jump into this massive stack that we have here so the first book on top of this stack here is by Debbie McComer and it's called Alaska Skies it says Midnight Suns volume one so here's this one a lot of you guys have been asking me to pick up one of her books and have been asking me what I think about them so I haven't read anything from her just just yet but I'm excited to pick this one up and give it a go so there is that one this next one I have read nothing by this author and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be shocked because I do love my cozy mysteries I love my mystery reads but this one is and then there were none by Agatha Christie and I've heard this is a lot of people's favorite so I'm excited to jump into this one if this is not your favorite please let me know in the comments which of her books is your favorite so I'm excited again to jump into this one and give it a go. There's a lot of, it seems like dialogue in her book. So again, something I'm really excited about and really excited to give a go. This next one, I'm not quite sure which book this is in the series, like where it stands in the series. It is a cozy mystery. It is part of a Maya and Sandra mystery series by Lee Hollis. It is a murder at the bake sale. You can see that one there. I believe the first book might be Murder at PTA or something like that. Something along those lines. But I've heard a lot of people really love Lee House's books, so I figured I would give it a go. And when I saw this one, I couldn't not pick it up. This next one I never heard of, but since picking this up, I've seen it on a couple people's shelves who I really enjoy watching their videos. So it makes me more excited about this one. This one is The Diva Digs Up the Dirt, and this is by Krista Davis. It's part of a domestic diva mystery series. There is that one. I believe this is book seven. I could be mistaken. It is not book one, that is for sure. And I know it comes later on in the series. So there's that one. And then you guys saw that I picked up two other books in this series. And then when I went back to the thrift store, they had another one. So I of course had to pick it up this one is closely harbored secrets by brie baker it is part of the seaside cafe mystery series and like i said i picked up two of her other books in my other thrifting videos so i had to grab this when i saw it now these next six books are part of a series these are by rachel hannah and every time i go on social media i see some type of rachel hannah book or advertisement or something like that so when i saw these i was like this is the perfect time to give her books a go because these were all a dollar fifty so i could not pass them up so this is the sweet tea b and b series this is what the first book looks like, Sweet Tea b, b Book number two is Sweet Tea Sunrise. Book number three is Sweet Tea and Honeybees. Book number four is Sweet Tea and Wedding Rings. Book number five is Sweet Tea and Christmas Trees. Now, it would be so cool if I could read these previous books and then jump into this one for Christmas, but hopeful thinking there. And then we have Sweet Tea and Baby Makes Three. So that is a series, and that is a whole series in its entirety, and I'm so glad I was able to find this entire series. And they are shorter books, as you can see, so I'm excited to jump on in and see what I think about her work. So there is that series. There's only four left and I know you guys have been telling me I need to pick up something by Karen Kingsbury. Why I picked up this one, I have no idea. If you are a Karen Kingsbury reader, please tell me which book I should read first. I picked up a book too and again, I don't know why I did that because I see her work very often and why I picked up this one, I, I truly don't know. This is Chasing Sunsets and it's part of the Angels Walking series and again it is book two. I don't know guys. <laughs> I, I truly don't know and don't have words for why I picked this up as the first one I picked up but there's that one. Then we have an author that you guys really really enjoy and I love seeing you guys talk about this author and recommending her to me and I have two of her other books on my shelves but since you guys speak so highly of her I had to pick up these two when I saw them. We have The Scarlet Thread by Francine Rivers. I ended up getting this one for $1.50 and couldn't pass it up because it's literally in perfect condition. There is some wear on the cover but $1.50 I could not pass this one up. 
So there is that one. And then the second Francine Rivers I have is Her Mother's Hope. I believe this also goes along with, is it Her Daughter's Dream maybe? I don't know. I know there's another book to this, but this is the one I ended up grabbing. This one was also $1.50. So again, it was one I couldn't pick up, especially being in literally perfect condition. I was not passing, other than this little dent here, I was not passing this book up. So again, another Francine Rivers. I really, really need to pick up something by her so I can see why you guys love her work so much. So there are those two. And last but not least, this book, I have been collecting this author's work. I have one of her books in hardcover and another one in mass market, but I am trying to collect this Cozy Mystery series because I have heard nothing but absolutely phenomenal things about every single book. And this Cozy Mystery series is by Donna Andrews. And if I haven't given it away by saying the author's name, it is part of the Meg Langslow mystery series. This one that I ended up grabbing was How the Finch Stole Christmas. And I'm excited to jump into this series eventually when I get book one because like I said, I am I am just so weird about reading books in series. Are you like this? Am I the only one? Let me know in the comments. But that wraps up my September book haul. I act like that's not a lot of books. That is an absurd number of books, especially with the two book thrifting trips that I had previously this month. So the book buying is coming to an end. I want to use my Kindle more. I need to use my Kindle. I, I, sh I, I need to use my Kindle more because I pay for Kindle Unlimited and I barely use it. I've been working on that. That is a work in progress. I'd also really love to use my library more, especially for these cozy mystery series, since they can really rack up in numbers. Some of them are at, I think maybe Donna Andrews might be in the like 30s, 20s, 30s. So I do need to start using my Kindle and library more. I am so aware of that. So, so aware of that and I say that and I continue to buy books. But anyway, <laughs> again, another rant for another day. I don't know why I go off on rants and tangents like that, but let me know if you've read any of these books that I picked up in September. What were your thoughts and opinions? Also, I wanna know, did you pick up any books this month? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for sticking with me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna stick around for more bookish videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would absolutely love to have you. Again, guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys very soon.